So what I'm going to show you here today is some new examples for the use device related to RC system control. So what I'm going to use here is a use device, of course, and a prototype shield with some wires soldered onto it. So the five volts, the ground, and the signal on D3. So it's simply soldered on here just to ease the uh, connection here. Just plug in the shield. So, and this is simply plugged into an RC receiver. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load the example code, use device. I've prepared two examples here. I have a precision control and a speed control. So I'll start with the position control here at first. So if we quickly run through the code here, I have some minimum position, some maximum position, and that's in degrees. So plus minus 90 degrees here. I have a lot of settings up here and I have some routines down here. So the first thing you'll notice is that I have some low value and some high value and that's the pulse width of the signal from the RC uh, receiver. Usually you have a low value of around a thousand microseconds and a high value of around 2000. I set it to these values because I simply do a calibration uh, routine whenever I start up and this routine is situated down here. So what I do is I record the minimum and maximum position or the minimum and maximum value from uh, the RC system and use that instead of some hard coded values. If you don't want to use that, then set these values to whatever you have. Usually that's a thousand and a few, two thousand, like I said, and then says, set this RC in it to one, this Boolean. Then you won't have this uh, initial calibration. So the use step I set up for closed loop control without re-initializing the encoder each time and that'll mean that you'll start the use device at the same position every time you start up the system uh, when this is set to zero this what is that one two three four five sixth uh, value here i set my pin free to input pull up so that's i have a internal pull up on this one and then I attach an interrupt to it and that's the interrupt that's gonna uh, get the signal from the RC receiver. I set my LED up as an output and that I use to indicate if I'm uh, done with the initial calibration. So you can look at the LED to see if you're done or not. Uh, and then I set some acceleration and velocity. Uh, but let's look at that when we get it powered up. So I'll just plug in some power to the use over here. And then USB plug. And I'll press upload to upload the code. Then we're done. I'll power up my transmitter here. And I've plugged in the use stepper for uh, the elevator stick here. So the first thing uh, you'll notice is that there's no movement going on if I move the elevator up and down. That's simply because I haven't calibrated it yet. So how to calibrate is you move the stick to the lowest position for around a second then to the highest position and then you let go of it and then it's calibrated for the minimum and maximum position and this was from minus 90 to 90 degrees uh, the travel and then of course we can change the travel to let's say 190 and minus 190 and then upload the code again 
and then you'll see well, once we've calibrated the system again that we have 190 and 190 uh, minus you can change the acceleration and the speed of the system to make it either slower or faster so now I've just set the speed and acceleration down and we'll notice that when we do the movement after calibration that it's slowed down and of course since we use closed loop you will have the closed loop feature of the use device so now let's try to set it back again and then we could try to set the RC init boolean to 1 and the low value to 1000 high value to 2000 and then upload the code again and then just verify that we don't have to do the initial calibration yeah so now you just go directly without initial calibration to movement so that's essentially what this example can do and I'll just switch over to the other example that is used over servo speed control so much of the code is exactly the same you have the low value high value the RC init boolean and then instead of minimum and maximum position you have speed so this is as it says it's just speed instead uh, the rest of the this, uh, the code is simply the same I again have to do initial calibration and then I just have speed control both forward and backward and again I can change to whatever I like in range here pretty simple just change it in the code and upload again and now it's going pretty fast so here I'm gonna show you an example of using the RC speed control for the use device I'm gonna use two use device in this example I'm gonna set the RC init to 1 and set the corresponding low and high values to a 1000 and 2000 and then I'm gonna set the speed and I'm gonna invert the speed on one use step compared to the other since I'm gonna drive a tank so here's the example it's a design I saw on Thingiverse I modified it to take use the S and take a power tool battery then I'm just using an RC system to run it. So that is what these two examples can do. You can imitate an RC servo with a closed loop position control and variable range. Or you can use it as a speed controlled motor running from your RC systems with variable speed range in both positive and negative direction. Thanks for watching.